Well, about a week ago, I had one of the most fabulous dishes at Huntsville's Revivalist. It was so good. We had to get the executive chef Sam Buchanan in our TVL kitchen to whip it up. So he joins us now. Sam, thank you so much for being here. You are so fabulous and so talented at what you do. So we're so grateful. Before we dive in again, I know we're whipping up some island salmon. Uh, tell us just a little bit about who you are, your kind of overall style at Revivalist for people who haven't yet stopped by. Yeah, um, so I've been in the Revivalist restaurant for a little over four months now, and um, classically trained chef, went to Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York, worked all over the South and um, different parts of California and Nashville. Um, just really excited to be here today to do one of our Faro Island uh, salmon dishes. Yes, we are so excited. So you've got all the ingredients here. I'll go ahead and let you whip it up and get to it. Tell me what all, all right, we're great. doing, Sam. So, uh, we have a beautiful piece of Scottish salmon, so we're going to lightly season that with a little bit of salt and pepper on both sides. Okay. And get that going in a, a really hot pan with um, a little bit of olive oil. Kind of let that just nice. sear. Get you nice said Scottish salmon. Is that kind is. of a? That seems pretty yeah, elevated. Yeah, it is. It's it's got the highest fat quality. Okay. So it's um it's a wonderful fish, sushi grade. Okay. Um, just super delicious um, fish. So uh, there's Wester Wasp. Um, Faro Island, so these are coming off the coast of Scotland. Amazing, yeah. we're learning so much here. And as yeah. that kind of cooks, you also have some other fabulous dishes. Curious what your kind yeah. of favorites are there at Revivalist as well. Yeah, so we, I brought one of our, um, or a couple of our dishes that um, customers come to enjoy a lot. We have our uh, charcuterie board with different uh, cheeses from around the world. Uh, we have a truffle um, cheese here in the middle, a Red Dragon beer mustard aid cheese, wow. and a Humboldt Fog, which is a caved aged goat cheese out of California. And some of our local meats are coming out of Tennessee. We do a Lady Ellison ham, um, and then we have a salami here, and a little bit of prosciutto and pickled vegetables. Amazing. People do love charcuterie. Mm -hmm. We got some kind of drinks, desserts over here. You also have yeah. a fabulous rooftop bar we do want to stress also there. At the yeah, hotel. love Bacon Able. Probably one of the best dining spots to have a curated cocktail. Um, wonderful view of the city from the rooftop, and um, our bartenders there and mixologists do a wonderful job uh, just handcrafting beautiful um, drinks up there. Amazing. Um, this is one of our favorite desserts. So this is a trio of pot de creme. We have a bourbon vanilla, a salted caramel, and a dark chocolate. It's kind of a play on the s'mores. Uh, but those are super delicious. So fabulous. And our salmon back over here is yeah. looking great. We're going to turn that over and just cook it for a couple minutes. Um, at the restaurant, we do a medium, uh, but you're more than welcome to have this rare, medium rare, as it is a sushi grade fish. How do you like it? You're the executive chef. I eat mine uh, medium, medium rare. Okay. Just, yeah. It's delicious. Fabulous. So this will so just cook for yeah, a couple minutes. It goes rather quickly. Um, we're seeing a final salmon. product here on the screen. Yeah. This is so great. And something else we do want to talk about, Chef, you guys also do uh, wonderful events, kind of some specials throughout the yeah. week, both at Revivalist and at Baker Naval as well. Yeah, so our F&B department uh, curated a nice program. You can come on Mondays. We do a bourbon and burger special. We can have a nice handcrafted uh, gourmet burger and a nice uh, small batch whiskey. On Tuesdays, we're doing tacos and tequila up at Baker and Abel. So enjoy a beautiful view of the city. Have a great, um, have a great uh, tequila and a beautiful tacos. And then on Wednesdays, we're doing wine down Wednesdays, where you can come and enjoy a glass of Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc and have a beautiful pesto shrimp flatbread. Wonderful, and of course, it's all in a gorgeous atmosphere there at the 106 Jefferson Hotel. All right, so we got our salmon kind of cooked. Tell me how you prepare this and plate it up, Chef. Yes, yeah, so we're taking a little bit of mustard hollandaise, so it goes really well with the fish, nice and luscious, uh, nice mustard flavor. Uh, we have a little bit of succotash, which is a favorite in the South, so we I have love summer succotash. peas and beans when they're in season, black-eyed peas, purple holes. Uh, we cook that in a classic succotash style. We render down bacon, saute a little bit of onion, add the field peas and broth, and we'll put that right on top of love uh, it. the hollandaise. Um, let's see. I do love succotash. Every now and then my school growing up would have succotash, and it was the best day. We would all get in line for it. Fun fact. But yours looks so great. I feel like Thank it's you. also just a nice fresh component to the dish. Anytime yeah. someone has salmon, you kind of want something fresh paired with that as well. So, so gorgeous. And what Thank are we you. topping it with here? This is stunning. Presentation yeah. is key. These Chef. are, um, so these are confit tomatoes. We, we roast them in olive oil. And then once they're tender, uh, we'll add a little bit of brown sugar and cayenne and then finish and roasting them at a high temperature in the oven. Uh, adds a nice sweetness to the dish. Of course, tomatoes are very popular in succotash. We have a little bit of charred onion puree, which adds a nice sweetness and a new mommy to the dish. Amazing. We'll put those on there. Yes. Then we have some edible orchids, which have a very nice kind of um, citrus flavor and pop. Just something uh, to be creative and decorative, but also add a lot of flavor to the dish. So you can attest, these are perfect. I see. Mm. I, I feel like the edible flowers are kind of making a, a becoming a thing right now. I get a little apprehensive, but you say they're yeah. totally fine. Oh, they're great. We use different micro um, 
micro flowers on desserts, micro mints, um, obviously orchids and, and, and things like that. Just, you know, something we can play with and add a nice pop of flavor. We have a little bit of arugula uh, dressed with a lemon mustard vinaigrette. And then you have our Faroe Island Scottish salmon served with French mustard emulsion, uh, succotash, a little bit of candied tomatoes, and charred onion puree. Chef, this is truly a work of art and it looks stunning. I'm gonna try some during the next break, so hang tight for that um, for me, if you will. But for now, before we let you go, thank you again for thank coming you. on. Tell us one more time, Revivalist, where you guys are, where people can come and dine and check you guys out. So Revivalist Restaurant is located 106 Jefferson at the 106J Hotel in beautiful downtown Huntsville. Um, we are just right there in the hotel. And on Jefferson Street. Wonderful. Chef, thank you again so much. Thank You're you. so talented in so many ways. Appreciate you coming on. That looks great. Yeah, I will be you.